their their animals who have been used to people are straight are struggling now because they aren't getting that exposure is what last year for me was about is you have no control whatever you thought you could control give it up there's no chance of trying to control anything anymore it's just no longer what we're about we're now having to to trust the process and step back and let it flow and let it unfold and and be in faith and the the one thing that i've learned that's really been helpful for me in the last bit is control is the opposite of faith um almost um a real simplicity in the way that she presents but one mustn't be fooled by that but it means you can get in very easily. Melissa took us on these meditations, but she started with us connecting with the earth and moving the energy up through our feet. And it was really um, profound to feel that connection. And then Sunday morning at 3.33, my body felt like a Sonicare toothbrush. It was just and I'm, it woke me up and um, yeah, I'm still processing. It it shifted a you lot. You have no idea how glad I am you used a toothbrush for an analogy for a vibrating tool. <laughs> <laughs> because I do feel that all those books you wrote leading right up to the wisdom of Calamaris, they were like stepping stones to prepare us for this epic moment we're actually living. You know, this isn't something we're going to read in history books. We're actually in it making history. When we were talking about the Uranus bottle, what it brought was just this, this knowing that we couldn't keep evolving and we couldn't keep moving on our ascension journey, carrying the baggage that we were carrying. Of course I have all the answers in me. I just like how the color invites the conversation for me to investigate a little bit deeper than I normally would. So if I had a client coming along and picking the pink and the red, I go, wow, they've got someone here who's done a lot of work. They've been through a lot of experiences and they really are at that verge of really coming home to themselves. And I decided to open my heart and start to listen. And it was the generosity of spirit. It was the kindness. It was the light of this teacher that I thought, well, if that makes sense to her to be that, then I need to listen. Turquoise is about seven, it's about teachers and spirituality and I resisted being a teacher for so many years I have a family of teachers and I was like I'm not being a teacher I'm not being a teacher I'm not being a teacher you know and then when you suddenly see that your 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 life path is that color that 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 Neptune energy and that actually that is about being a teacher it's like ah oh, what am I resisting I'm resisting who I am I felt the start of my awakening journey was when I went through the divorce and bringing my children up by myself. But then this car accident was the big awakening. It was a big spiritual awakening. What I love about Calamaris is it, you don't have to relive the trauma to, yeah. to you know, just holding the bottle, you, you're holding the healing, you're holding the transformation. And, and... We just had this very um, important transition, um, which is that Jupiter has moved into Pisces, you know, with the Jupiter bottle. I'm gonna hold it up to show you, but I've bathed in half of it, because like you say, <laughs> it's, it's good to engage with a color when there's been a big kind of planetary transition. I want to know about this color combination, the gold and indigo. How did you do that? I actually um, meditated in uh, Santorini and uh, I, I was kind of like thinking what kind of packaging, logo, or name and I can't decide. And I just sat down in the sun in Santorini and within 10 minutes I had everything. Idea for logo, for name, for colors. I don't know, it just came. It's not mine, it's just sent to me. And this area is attributed to the matriarch of the family or the mother. You have two beautiful yellow planters flanking each side of your 
uh, panels, your beautiful black panels. And that is fabulous because the yellow color represents earth in feng shui. The earth element is yellow. And earth feeds earth and fire. Fire feeds earth. Well, in feng shui, uh, the air element isn't there. It's not a, an element as it is in the Ayurvedic medicine. Um, however, the air element is very, very much a form of yin wind. Feng shui means wind and water. There is a spiritual connection that we've done this before, we have lived before, and I just love color mirrors.